this spot there. It's not struggling, I'm just having it creep along. Hmm? Hey, Marcy. What is it, Marcy? Oh, you want your chair back. Those are the correct height on both ends. No worries about that. This is the finished high rail truck. Um, my secret project. One of them. Um, how should I explain this? I worked on, I've been building this since a little bit late last year, and I've been waiting for parts to come in for it, mainly the Stanton power drive, which is right there. Everything, the body, the frame, the truck frame is kit bashed, um, but everything else was bought at a local store, like the truck for its, for instance, basically. Basically, I took one of these Matchbox uh, P-Series plow trucks and turned it into a high rail truck. Now, that's, that's a simple way of, of putting it. There's a lot of modification needed, but it's pretty straightforward. If you're looking at that little lip there, um, I'm gonna put like a little. I don't know what I'm gonna put there, but it, it'll it'll have certain it'll have some purpose. But actually, the bed of the truck is centered. If you look at the container, the container is centered properly. It's just that this lip is an overhang lip. I, I didn't intend that to be purpose, but uh, I'm gonna use it for something later on. Probably might put some little toolboxes there or something. I don't know yet, but I think I might just leave it as is. I still got to get the horns for it. Um, the, I guess I'll show you guys. Body's held on by three screws, and it is equipped with a bell. The wheels on the front are 33-inch wheels. The Stanton Power Drive has 36-inch wheels, 110 thread, brass gears. Coupler height is all correct. This container is actually kit bashed. It used to be a 48 footer, a 48 foot cast container, but I actually cut it down 
to be a 24 foot container for the truck. See? And I actually had to cut off both ends because um, I messed up and what I did is this is the back half of the container and this section in the front here was the front half and then I just took off um, some more of the, the beams so that only the small container would have this one uh, big beam section right here, this flat section without the ribs, I should say. And you really can't tell that I that it was cut. You can't really tell because I sanded it and filed it and well I sanded it more or less. Uh, but everything works. And this is part though well technically it's one video. But you probably you guys seen the first clip of the first official run of it without the container so you guys will actually see what it, you actually saw what it looked like. Um, and it was just a regular flatbed. This will be getting a, de a decoder in it. Um, not sure if it's going to be sound because I don't think there's enough room under the chassis for a small micro speaker. There might be right there. I might be able to fit a micro speaker there. Just drill the holes in the frame and run the wires up through that gap in between the, the metal frame there and uh, into the decoder I might be able to get away with it I might be able to get away with it I'm not sure but um, everything's pretty straightforward on this truck very nice truck I like it and it's extremely heavy it weighs one pound one and one nineteenth of a pound well, it's one pound and one nineteenth, so it's almost a pound and a half in weight. Um, normally, um, it can pull five cars, but on but today I got it pulling six cars. Now, what I mean is, if the cars are moderately, moderately heavy, it can pull six cars or eight cars. But if they're pretty close to the National M N M R A standards. It'll be able to pull five cars on a two percent grade. Um, yeah. So maximum with the heaviest cars five, with the moderately heavy six to eight, and that's pretty prototypical. That's pretty prototypical compared to the real um, units. This is actually based off of the branded power movers. Um, I don't know if there are any Oshkosh high rail trucks out there. I've never seen them, but this is the first one in HO scale. And it's got the mud flaps back there. And actually, the cool thing is, you just disconnect this guy. That's a dead spot. Need to fix that. That's just a dead spot. There you go. <laughs> Coupler height in the rear is correct. Didn't really need to do anything for that, except put a block piece of styrene under there to mount the coupler. Um, that's pretty much it. It's not going to get painted. Um, I probably, the, where, the, where the marks are on the roof, the horn's going to cover that up anyway. It's going to get a five chime horn. So that's going to be pretty cool. No lights. No lights. Don't need any lights. Um, if I wanted to run lights, I would have to run copper pipes around in here to these points right here. These are probably would be the micro LED where the micro LEDs would go. But uh, yeah, truck is very heavy. She she will go and she's good. She's good at pulling, um, but also good at pushing too. And she can go pretty fast. Let me show you guys something. See that?
good at pushing, pulling in either direction. Great, great truck. Great truck. I haven't stopped playing with this thing since I built it. And that's why you order the Stanton Power Drives with the brass gears. Because they're made for pulling. And I highly recommend them for um, any project that you may have, whether it be a secret project or not. Highly recommend Northwest Short Line and their Stanton Power Drives. So thanks goes out to them. And thank God because uh, if it wasn't for him giving me this idea and giving me the knowledge to do it, how um, it wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have been possible without him. I just want to give thanks to God, and uh, thanks to the Northwest Short Line, and uh, all my 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 family support because they they um, helped me with this. But they they knew very little about it. <laughs> I, it was actually a secret from them too. Okay, so you guys enjoy this video. Uh, God bless, and I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.